We begin with breaking news. It is now public. Perjury and obstruction of justice. The charges against Pennsylvania's Attorney General, Kathleen Kane. The top ranking prosecutor in the state will have to surrender to authorities. The charges come after an investigation by the Montgomery County District Attorney. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Pat Shiraki. And I'm Erica Von Teel. We want to get right out to the courthouse in Norristown. Eyewitness News reporter Alexandria Hoff has been following the story for us. Good afternoon. Well, good afternoon. Uh, Montgomery County District Attorney Risa Furman stated that today is a sad one for the people of Pennsylvania. I'm holding here two very thick criminal complaints, the first of which for State Attorney General Kathleen Kane, the other for a special agent of hers who also doubled as her driver, Patrick Reese. It is alleged that under the instruction of Kane, Reese illegally accessed secret grand jury information, which was then purposely leaked to the Philadelphia Daily News. Kane has been charged with obstructing administration of law, official oppression, criminal conspiracy, perjury, and false swearing. That leaked information was regarding a sealed 2009 investigation, which Furman said today she sees as an act of revenge that Kane took to embarrass former state prosecutors who she felt previously made her look bad. The second half of those charges against Kane relate to her testimony over the alleged leak in front of a grand jury. Furman stated today that the evidence points to Kane lying to cover up that leak. The motivation for these acts, as exposed by the evidence that we gathered, and quite simply in the Attorney General's own words, was this is war. This was her war, based upon the evidence, conducted without regard to the rules, without regard to the law, and without regard to any collateral damage the battle might entail. Kane has long maintained her innocence and said that she would not step down from her position. It is expected that she will turn herself in over the next two days. Reporting live from Montgomery County, Alexandria Hoff, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Alexandria, thank you. An attorney general, Kane, defended herself in this statement, saying in part, quote, I am very disappointed that the district attorney has made the decision to pursue this case. I have maintained my innocence from the day these allegations surfaced, and I continue to do so today. I intend to defend myself vigorously against these charges. I look forward to the opportunity to present my case in a public courtroom. DA Risa Furman says that Kane will be arraigned within the next two days. We will continue to follow this developing story for you. We, of course, will have more beginning today on Eyewitness News at 5 o'clock.